Good afternoon, and welcome to More Than Meets the Eye. I'm your host, Blind Prime, and for today, we're going to be finishing up Victory Saber stuff. Well, I guess one more video with them in uh, Victory Saber in the combined jet mode will have to appear. But other than that, you know, we're done. Yeah, it's been a long road. I mean, long road from Victory, you know, hearing about it back in the day. I'm going to get a playlist together in the next few days. Uh, please check it out if you wouldn't mind. Um, it's going to include what the you know, thoughts of it were, my, my, my trying to figure out what the sizes of the Victory Saber were, and uh, things like that. Just, just little tidbit shorts and updates that I gave throughout my channel. I think it was a fun little adventure we went on. It was a, it was a nice journey, and we, we all culminated until this you know, destination. And whether or not it was the destination people wanted, it, it's still a destination. And honestly, you know, the journey to it was a lot of fun. And the, the speculations, the conversations, all of that, that, that was a lot of fun. And I, I enjoyed participating in it with you. And uh, so to showcase all of that, you know, I'll be making a playlist for Victory Saber here in the near future. And um, I found an 86RC on sale for Stupid Cheap. So I'm going to be covering 86RC next. If, if she is in her like pink glory. I assume it's pink. I hope it's pink. You know, they, they not have done it in pink, but I don't know. Um, I'm hoping they did. Nobody's complained about the paint, so I'm assuming it's the correct color of pink. But uh, yes, we will be covering that figure uh, at a later date. But for today, let's go over Victory Saber. There's not going to really be much I'm going to go over today on Victory Saber because honestly, you know, we covered so much of it already with the Victory, uh, you know, with Star Saber and then covering Victory Leo. There's not really much to cover except you know, these cool wings. Yeah, these cool wings. Okay, so. Uh, to talk about this figure, now we've got everything Star Saber like. You know, the the uh, victory parts didn't do anything with his arms, so that's still all the same. I mean, he does get a giant gun. Uh, that that gun we've talked about with Victory Leo, it's the uh, V Lock Cannon, and um, so that's all covered. And we just got these long wings. Now the wings of Victory Leo that plug into Star Saber's back are pretty pretty beastly wings. Um, they actually stretch out a good span outside of each of his shoulders. They they feel like they're the appropriate size for a victory saber here. So you can pose him flying and stuff like that. Uh, now the boots on the ends. Um, it does. I do enjoy how the feet for the victory uh, for star saber fold up inside, so that when you plug these booties on, it actually feels like they're you know just extensions of the legs. It just it feels like he's got a long leg below his knee and you know the, the placement of the knee joint here i do wish that they had done it a bit further down so that whenever he did this mode it would look a little more natural that there's a knee um you know the knee feels like it should have been about where right there just i'd say you know hey what is that what is that 20 millimeters lower no 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 not even 20 millimeters lower i think that's like five six millimeters lower and it may have been better. I don't know. Um, at least, you know, this is from my perspective as, as a person just holding it in their hands. Now, I will say that this figure is heavy. It's really heavy. And uh, we'll talk about the uh, really nice foot stuff going on here. Um, there was an ankle tilt. I was mistaken in thinking there wasn't. But it is so slight that it might as well be non-existent. And uh, so that's that. Uh, I do wish there was more of an ankle tilt. But, you know, it is what it is. You get what you get. The uh, the Victory Leo parts onto the feet are actually, you know, really cool. They, you've got more vent activities going on here. You know me, I like my vents. And then you've also got this, um, this siege port that it adds to it. So you get another siege port. Woot! He goes up by two on his legs. So that makes... The uh, Star Saber here, a Victory Saber. Let's see, do you have any under under your legs? Uh, I actually didn't. Oh, you got one on the tip of each toe, because that works. Uh, none on the back, though, to be like, um, you know, some sort of, you know, he can fly with them. But I guess all of his flying is done with the jetpack. So there's that. Uh, I did appreciate that, you know, here at the bottoms of the feet, they managed to sculpt in what feels like, you know, uh, some springs or some at least uh, uh, compressors or something so that you know there's some stability when he walks that's cool and that's a lot of attention to detail with this thing they they the, the sculpt work on this on the victory saber 
has has been the best sculpt work I've witnessed in a uh, Transformer so far when it comes to the uh, chug scale. Like, all of this sculpt work is just excellent. I love it. I'm going to spin him around to the back and show off one of the negative things, which is these wings have so many little negative spots in them, and it, it's a shame that they're waffled so much on the back. Uh, they could have been complete. Through and through wings, I I am so upset with the... Um, with the Victory Leo. The Victory Leo seems to have been, um, well, the red-headed stepchild of the bunch. Now, the wing tips are really cool, and it comes all the way over here to this backpack that is, I assume, transformed correctly. And if it's not transformed correctly, let me know in the comments or something. I, mean, I didn't know what to do with these stupid, stupid, uh, you know, lion's feet. They could go like that. I, I, I didn't know what to do with them, so I just kind of curled them up and put, pointed them in such a way to use the uh, blast effects for, uh, you know, the, the, the fists as little blast effects for uh, rockets or something. I don't know. I had no idea what to do with those. I just kind of did that. And then the head just kind of folded in. It was a simple, simple transformation that wasn't as intuitive as I would have liked to have, uh, liked it to have been. Uh, and it's kind of a shame. But for the most part, yeah, that's that's Victory Saber. He's uh, there's not really much more to explain on this guy. Uh, I do like how when you attach the the uh, Victory Leo to this, you get these guns, which you know he's got these cool uh, siege ports on either side that fold over to make these guns. They also act as stabilizers to help stabilize these wings and ensure they don't go flying off or falling off by accident. They had to make a very strong joint there, but you can, you know, pick up the guns from there, or you can actually, uh, you know, articulate the guns themselves, and then, yeah, you could just get a full 360 degree thing going on his shoulders. I like it. I, I like it. This guy's gonna go up on uh, the top shelf. I have, you know, I've already got everything set up. And to end this review, let's explain how to get him onto his uh, flight stand. Where is his flight stand? Here it is. All right, so we got his flight stand right here. And the flight, you now pick him up. Make sure you hold him at his crotch area because that's honestly the best place. And feel back here on this crotch area, you'll find that there is a siege port back there. We've talked about that siege port in the uh, Star Saber video. And that is going to actually plug into this, uh, this little siege peg on the flight stand. So you just gotta plug that in. All right, and there we go. It's plugged in nice and neat, and there it stands, and you can move them around a bit on the flight stand. This is a very sturdy flight stand. I do have to say it's a nice flight stand. I do like it. Um, I just wish that it wasn't designed at such an angle. My OCD goes crazy. I want it to be positioned so the Autobot symbol is facing forwards in the same direction that Victory Saber is facing, but the Autobot symbol is facing that way, so you've got to kind of put it that way. Ah, ah! Why is the Autobot symbol like that? It messes with me. It messes with me so hard. All right. Thank you for watching. Please tune into my channel next time. I guess we'll go over the uh, vehicle mode. And uh, after that, I'm going to flip a coin and decide, do I keep it in vehicle mode for display? Or do I switch it back to uh, this awesome super robot mode for display? Until next time, bye-bye for now.